G'day guys, it's Doc. Welcome to the 100th year. Very excited. Um, just want to give you a little heads up on what I've been doing and what my role is. So this year, I am the Chairman of Selectors and I'm also Player Liaison. If you've got any questions about the way the club is running or ideas or things you want to suggest, I absolutely 100% want to hear those. I'm also going to be working hard on making sure that every week we've got four wonderful senior 11s that are going to be going out representing Parkdale in men's cricket on a Saturday and then a Masters 11 on a Sunday. Um, they're the main components of my role, so pretty excited about that. So far, been really busy um, with Rowan and also Darren Sherry nominating and select, well, I should say selecting your new captains. There are eight new leaders that are in the club this year on field and also at training. Congratulations to all the captains and vice captains this year. Looking forward to seeing what you can produce on and off the field and how you're going to lead the group in this challenging season. Really very, very excited for them and the new voice and the new direction and eight new vibrant, uh, I guess, bits of energy into our wonderful club. Outside of that, just putting together a mindfulness program that I think will be really fun and I want to introduce to you guys. Um, a lot of you probably don't know, but that's my normal, regular job. Uh, I run a life coaching school, write a lot of programs. Um, so looking forward to doing some of that with the cricket club as well. Hi there, Parky people. Uh, Jimmy here. Um, looking forward to, excited about being the junior president for this year in our 100th year. Um, particularly looking forward to working with all the girls and all the boys that we have playing for us. Um, we should have record numbers of juniors. Um, in our junior program. Been working hard with Craig Dance, our new junior coordinator, and Grant Bayless, who is our new junior secretary, in getting organised in a COVID environment, which is going to make training a little different in that we can only train with sort of 30 to 35 people at the club at any time. So you might see some staggered times for training and you'll see some new rules about signing in and you'll have to use a QR code when you turn up to training. But that's all been sorted um, and you'll see a video from myself, Craig and Grant soon um, about how to, how to do all that when you, when you come to training. Um, we're looking forward to games in about a month's time. Um, so make sure that you get your parents to get you sorted as far as registration goes. Basically, we've been um, working through the through the process and the COVID protocols, uh, making sure that uh, the committee's up to date with their uh, responsible service of alcohol and working with children's checks. Uh, I've been working uh, alongside um, the juniors, uh, making sure the ground allocations are submitted with uh, Seeker and All Girls Cricket Competition. Um, been doing quite a few webinars with Career Victoria to keep abreast of all the changes. Also, I am curating manager, which if you have been around to either ground, the Parkdale Jerry Green or the high school, you'll see some nice lush centre wicket. Uh, wickets that have been up now, so in the next few weeks they'll be getting a mow and a roll and preparing the pitches for round one, which fingers crossed will be kicking off on the 14th of November. The ground's looking tree, um, so Rowan uh, Peels and, and Dino have been working well there. Um, so we should be we should be in a good place come next week to, to commence training. We'll have the COVID protocols in place uh, so that everybody's safe. Um, so just make sure you have a read through and you understand what, what the process is so that when you come down to the club, it, it all runs smoothly. Um, but it looks like it's going to be a bumper year for the club, 100 years. We've got a full complement of juniors, uh, seniors, women and men. So it's, it's just going to be absolutely a treat. I've contacted nearly all of the senior men now, one-on-one -on, -one on the phone that are playing this year. It's been a great way for me uh, to get a handle on where you're all at and what you want. Uh, certainly been a really good way for us to work out uh, selection and the sides that we're putting out. Just to let you know, four senior sides on a Saturday, Masters on a Sunday, uh, two senior women's uh, on a Sunday as well, but I'm sure James will tell you about those. Um, the ones are where they were, Championship Division. Again, as we have been for the last two years, playing the highest possible level of cricket that the cricket club has ever played in its 100 years. I'm really proud about that. Uh, and I hope that you're really proud about that as well. The seconds are playing the same comp they were, really good solid second 11 cricket. Third 11 playing where they were, 
the fourth 11, which is a combination this year of Chris Mutimer and Scott's teams. Uh, they're playing one grade lower, I think in a, in a standard that'll be really good. Challenging still for them. Um, probably, I think about the right standard for them for this year. We're planning on having 47 men every Saturday take the field for Parkdale, 12 players in the seconds, thirds and fourths. And uh, really looking forward to getting back to training, hopefully this week, worst case next week. Within the next few weeks, you should see the pitchers coming together and have some sort of nice pitch ready for round one. Um, then that'll lead on to my next role, which is bar and canteen manager. So we wait to see what the restrictions ease and if we can get in and have a beer. So anyone who has any suggestions for alcohol they would like or things to serve at the canteen, please feel free to get in contact with me and let me know what you would like. Can't wait to see you all. Really excited for the season, um, season number 100. It's going to be brilliant. Uh, it's going to be a wonderful celebration of this wonderful club. And I can't wait till it kicks off. Um, if, you, if, if you want to contact with me, uh, feel free to ring. My number 0425737169 or hit me up on Facebook, happy to chat. If we haven't had a chance to chat with you yet, um, apologies, but uh, please just pick up the phone. Uh, I do want to talk to every single player one-on-one -on -one, uh, if I get a chance. Thanks. Talk soon. Bye for now.